Do you remember anything from your history lessons about Black Plague in Europe? During the 14th century, there were plague outbreaks. Millions of people died. And at the time, it wasn't quite understood why. Centuries later, it was discovered that the plague was a bacterial disease and it was spread by fleas found in rodent populations. Infected fleas would bite not just rats, but humans and other mammals as well. Bubonic plague is still present in some rodent populations today, even here in the United States. But with rodent management and plague monitoring, only a few people a year are infected with plague. Plant diseases, too, have been important in our history. The late blight of potato is a fungal disease that was responsible for the Great Potato Famine in Ireland during the 19th century. Thousands of Irish people starved and more than a million migrated to the United States as a result of this. The late blight fungus continues to be a major problem of potatoes around the world, but is now managed through the use of resistant cultivars, proper sanitation practices, and fungicides. Our ancestors controlled pests usually using brute force and manual labor. Thousands of years ago, chemicals that affected pests were discovered through trial and error. When sulfur was burned, it was found to affect insects and mites. Later, several other inorganic materials, like lead and arsenate, were used as pesticides. Toxic plant extracts, such as nicotine from tobacco, were used. A modern chemistry was used to develop pesticides during World War II. At the time, DDT was hailed as the insecticide to solve all insect problems. We didn't know much about the environmental concerns that were to follow with that. Countless other synthetic pesticides were produced. During this time, the modern chemical industry was launched. At relatively low cost, pesticides then became a successful and primary means of insect control.